hello guys welcome to another video uh, this is the continuation from the previous video so what we are going to see from this video is that last uh, last video we made some form connected with the SQL database inside the grid view so we had the insert button only but in this video we're going to show how to do the update delete and search so how does this work uh, update for example I want to update about Mary it's going to be Mary Jane no, the name okay so her age is going to be one year yeah done so yep it changes and i want to delete this value i mean the mary jane so if you click delete it's gone and i want to do some search which is for example we have only two values so i'm going to search only two and if you click the search button it will show only that uh row with the id2 all right guys uh let's go to the coding part so yeah in our video previous video we it was something like this so here we are going to add some buttons which is the update button and the delete button and here we are going to have another button which is going to be the search button and a text box okay just rename it going to be update this one's going to be delete okay and search all right so our design is done so we just uh, click to our update button double click on this button so it will take us to the coding part uh, here guys it's just much similar to the insert button but just the the query for the database will be different so let's go SQL command uh, give it a name equals to new SQL command okay so we are going to the query which is update all right simple and we should give our table name which is utbl update the table set name i mean i'm going to select the name for example in our database the table inside the table we have this name so we're going to select that set name equals to uh, quotations yeah single quotations within single quotation we are going to have double quotations and within double quotations plus plus and we're going to select the text box which is uh parallel i mean corresponds to the name which is text box 2.txt there so we're going to for the next one which is our h so h equals to single quotations double quotations plus plus which is text box 3 the text all right where we need to type this word where where id because we are searching from it updates by selecting the id only our id is text box one so text box dot text text box one dot text and we are going to have comma and con as a database and semicolon so that's the code for the update Beside that, uh, all the other codes are similar to the insert, so we can just copy it from here. Copy, paste, done. And we can just change this one because it says inserted. We can just change it to updated. Updated. 
alright so guys that's for the update so we'll, let's go to the delete button which is going to be almost a similar SQL command uh, give a name I mean, yeah, just use the same name new SQL command okay which is going to be open brackets delete from the table which is UTPL okay where because we are selecting only ID if the ID is there it will delete all the row by selecting the ID ID equals single quotation double quotations plus plus which is our text box one is our corresponding to our ID dot text all right uh, I think we have to convert this thing before we do this so I forgot about that so convert dot to int 32 or 16 it can be either okay close it to the brackets dot to string from bracket close bracket and we are going to close it with con the database and end it with a semicolon okay guys yeah so we just go to the next line which is also the similar to the previous one we can just copy the whole thing control c control v and we can change the label text i mean the message into data has been deleted all right done so guys let's go to our search button double click it mm, this coding is a bit complicated i mean not complicated but it's quite big so stay patient i'm going to give it a name which is going to be fine equals uh select from i mean select all we can use the star from select all from our table name which is utbl where open bracket close bracket id like we use this word like single quotations percentage plus plus and at id again single quotations and again the percentage mark all right and we end it with the simple because we are selecting we can select we can input another value also maybe for example uh, the age also can by searching through the age but i just selected through the id only so uh you're going to have a sql command to cmd equals to new sql command okay inside this we're going to have find and con all right and the uh, cmd dot parameters dot add open bracket close brackets open quotations right id <coughs> comma sql data type so this is capital so this is the one dot n watcher okay watcher open the back close the brackets dot value okay which is equals to the we are searching in the new text box which is going to be for dot text yes semicolon cmd dot uh, cmd yeah. cmd 
dot uh, non I mean execute non query open bracket close bracket semicolon okay now we're going to have this SQL adapter data adapter to give the name let's go to the a <coughs> excuse me new SQL adapter the open bracket close bracket semicolon then da dot select command equals to cmd all right data set uh, we're going to give it a name as ds which is equals to new data set uh, one bracket close bracket yeah okay and we are going to use this data adapter to fill with our result from the database which is going to be ts and which is the id semicolon all right and almost done guys go to the grid view part one grid view one dot data source ID okay which is going to be uh, alright so again grid v1 dot data source equals to ds which is our data set from the database and grid v1 dot data bind all right semicolon okay now we have to close our database which is con close open bracket close bracket semicolon done and finally our label we are going to change the message with which, which it displays it's going to be like something like uh, maybe selected it has been selected or data has been yeah should be fine I guess okay guys we have done our coding part the design is done coding so we'll see how it looks like we just in case we just build the program and see if there's any errors if there's no errors we are good to go with our testing give it time all right done guys uh, it has succeeded succeeded so let's uh, run it and see okay uh, yeah <coughs> all right this is our form looks fine so guys I'll add I'll be adding a new value I'll just give it ID as 4 the, we cannot give the same ID because there will be a problem with the data redundancy which is going to be because it's the prime number I mean primary key so just give it a new ID name uh, testing age uh, just unknown insert it works fine so I want to just update which is the ID is 4 ID is going to be the same uh, but I'm going to just change the name into test this time 100 all right so I want to delete this one just select from the ID only because we have set from here only select the ID 4 I want to delete it it's removed and in our search we are going to search the ID row with the ID 2 search <coughs> okay guys it works fine uh, yeah it displays only the ID with the particular we have searched with but that's all for this video guys thank you for watching if you like my video please leave a like and subscribe my youtube channel for uh, future updates all right thank you guys